For some time, there was silence about what was happening within the borders of America's largest space company. However, if you get to hear what's taking place now, you'll be in for a pleasant surprise. SpaceX Starship's first orbital launch might be probably what you have heard or seen somewhere on Twitter. The SpaceX CEO boasted an ambitious plan for the Starship making its first orbital launch in March. Like all other Musk outbursts, we always take it with a pinch of salt. Gary Henry, the senior advisor for National Security Space Solutions, said that the Starship is in good shape. This was after a static fire in 31 of its 33 engines. Well, the goal of SpaceX, according to SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell, was not to blow up the launch pad. So, the test firing of 33 engines seeing all but two light up and stay lit is a plus on their side. Elon Musk later confirmed that even without the two engines working, the rest would still launch the super heavy rocket to space. You see, SpaceX has launched so many rockets to space. Only last year, SpaceX sent a whopping 66 rockets to space. We're talking about rockets, not airplane flights, and that is only in the span of a year. That's a commendable feat. On the same note, SpaceX is still in the business of moving boundaries, and this Starship flight will be their game changer. The Starship is not like any other kind of rocket you get to see on TV. It's much taller than NASA's Saturn V and extremely advanced. It will be the first of its kind to be capable of full reusability, not to mention that it will give a thrust 2.5 times that of Saturn V while using methane fuel. Then again, SpaceX is working on making a successful vertical landing with the 85-ton Space Giant. This is a unique rocket. It's there for several purposes, but the most important one is to get humans to the moon, Mars, and then into deep space. However, the journey to achieve this goal is more than difficult. Elon Musk admitted that it will have a 50% chance of being successful. He is optimistic about the successful launching of the Starship, and we can't blame him for banking on the 31 successfully working engines. Nevertheless, we cannot be ignorant of the other 50% chance of failure. Explosions are not uncommon in SpaceX history launches. Elon Musk has had a handful of Starship prototypes exploding right before his face before the company finally got it right. With the fate of Starship dwindling between half and half chance of success and failure, we too should be prepared for anything. Even so, the SpaceX and Tesla CEO seem at home with failure that he takes an explosion as part of the development process. In his own words, I'm not saying it will get into orbit, but I mean guaranteeing excitement, so it won't be boring. You will agree that the Starship launch will be really interesting. Gary Henry told his audience at the Space Mobility Conference in Orlando to expect a must-see TV in March. But even without Gary or Elon Musk saying it, we know that watching the Starship launch would spark more interest than watching a World Cup football match. If ever the Starship gets past the launch pad, it will catapult to orbit, spend a short time there, and land back in the Pacific off the coast of Hawaii. The successful launch of the first Starship will be just the first in the thousands yet to come as Elon Musk revealed. The ambitious SpaceX CEO while replying to a tweet from Tesla owners in Silicon Valley that read, How many Starships is SpaceX looking to build this year? Musk gave an insane reply, about five full stacks. Five full stacks? That will be so much work for one year. Nevertheless, that's probably what is going to happen if the year plays out well. The Starship will be the first full stack to be sent to space. A fully stacked Starship is composed of two stages, one a spacecraft, and two a super heavy rocket powered by 33 methane-fueled Raptor engines. And yeah, a fully stacked Starship is enormous. Its bold 390 feet is way taller than the US Statue of Liberty, and it will be for a long time the most powerful reusable rocket. The SpaceX CEO began making plans a long time ago, and his strategy will thrill you. A high production rate solves many ills. If you have a high production rate, you have a high iteration rate. If you have a high production rate, then you have many iterations. You can make progress from one to the next. Elon Musk has a very high goal of making several rockets in a very short time. This goal is tied to the fact that he wants to hasten making a neighborhood on Mars. On the same note, he has a reputable history of ramping up production when he decides to, so his making many rockets in a short time looks like an attainable goal. 
A good example of massive production under Elon Musk is his car company Tesla. Making over 900,000 electric vehicles within a year is not a joke. Musk is likely to achieve this high-prized goal and start producing rockets at a speed we're not familiar with. But if you haven't heard half of what this overly ambitious tech guru has for his space company, Elon Musk is planning to go from expecting to make a booster and a Starship in months to making one every month. This short-term plan envisions his long-term goal of manufacturing 1,000 Starships in 20 years with one end goal in mind, colonizing Mars. For now, Elon Musk must be fully braced to tackle one last and major obstacle along his way. The FAA is standing in the way of any of SpaceX's rockets flying out to space. The Federal Aviation Administration is considering factors such as the environmental impact of the rocket on the local community in Boca Chica, Texas, Starship's launch site. To get a license, SpaceX must take more than 75 actions before they get any approval. Even so, SpaceX is still silent about any plans to address these actions. But one thing is for sure, FAA assessments take a lot of time which makes the next launch for this space company quite uncertain. But if things are to go well, we are ready for the must-see TV of rocket launches. To end this, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting space news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers!